Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to talk about water effect shader and you can see it, it's cool, right? So without any further ado, let's begin. So for that, let's just create a project with water effect. Just remember, it's for 2D top-down games. So we did create this, like most of my video, I we, I always create a shader or object or a sprite or whatever to show you how you can have that in your game. And this time we did that as well. So what you need to do is just go to marketplace, open the marketplace and in marketplace just search for top down water effect. I did upload it, add it to your account. And after you add it to your account, just go to game maker, go to my library, refresh it and know that you refresh it, just try to find it and here it is, just download it and import it to your project. What you need it's just this obg background this room we don't need this shader is top down water because i want to do another water effect for a scrolling games so add this if you have top down games and just add this sprite as well hit import and now close the library Let's just go to room and in here you can see that I have this object in here. It's just some rocks that we want to have water effect on it. So let's just make it a little bigger so it fill over room and that's cool. And now let's just open it. It just has a draw function and it have a background. You can put whatever you want in there. In draw function you can see that I just pass some variable to our shader like time, like, like resolution of our sprite, like position of our sprite, wherever we put it in the room. And we set that shader and we pass all of those information that we talk about up here. And after that, we draw itself. That is just the background and we reset the shader and that's what you need to do so now let's just run it and you can see you have this cool effect so let me show you if you don't use this shader what will happen just comment this to out and you can see that it's just an sprite a background sprite it's like some rocks in the river so let's just close it and set this shader again run it and you can see it has a cool effect on it and you can have it in your top down games for river for water for whatever watery in your game so let's just make it smaller and run it again and you can see that it works fine with whatever background you put in there Let's change the sprite, create a new sprite in here, SPR BG and edit that image to something like black to black, save it and let's just change the object sprite in here to that black, now let's just go to room and you can see it's just black, the room is black, let's just change the color of the room so you can see it what effect it add to your game so now let's just run it and you can see it add water effect to whatever sprite that you want and it looks real and cool now you know how you can add water effect to whatever sprite you want i hope you like this video and it's useful for your game thank you very much for watching bye